we are going to start a conversation and a panel discussion about the effective and the quality implementation of the SDG at different levels in India and the globe. Dr. Manish, what is your opinion about the implementation of the SDGs and the role of the corporate sector? Thank you. Uh, thank you for the invite. I hope I'm uh, audible. Uh, private sector does a, a lot of research and development, a lot of new ideas, all of which are solutions that can uh, help governments and countries reach their uh, targets that can be set for SDGs. So I see a, a very important role. And that's why, in fact, one of the SDGs talks about partnerships. So it's not as if one entity is going to achieve SDGs on its own. So governments will look to work with private sector and academia. There are a lot of other uh, partners that have to come together. I think it's not about one partner achieving, but it's about partnership. So clearly private sector is very important. Okay. Anna, what is your opinion about the SDGs implementation and the role of different stakeholders, including corporate sectors? the government sectors and the civic bodies? So, for my department, I mean, we have, uh, we've been working on poverty alleviation uh, since the creation of DFID in 1997. Um, and there's been a lot of emphasis at the beginning of the <coughs> SDGs on, on donors, on the work by governments. As we've moved into the SDGs and we saw the figure in terms of the financing needs, five trillion, and I think it was five trillion a year, that's a new figure for me, but that's a massive, massive figure. And donor governments can only provide a very, very small part of that. Uh, it's, it's important that we are therefore able to mobilize private sector investment um, as a critical contributor to the achievement of the SDGs. And so that is something that our Secretary of State, up until last night, we had a new one overnight last night, a new minister for Fort Defit. Um, but she was, has been very focused on this, this huge mobilization of the private sector, mobilizing private capital, working in partnerships with the private sector. You know, we're not going to achieve the SDGs if this, is, if this doesn't happen. So it is about partnerships, as Manish says. It's everything is about partnerships. It's about partnerships with civil society. It's about building those kind of accountability frameworks, ensuring that what we say we're going to do, we do it. And civil society plays a huge role in holding us all to account. So everyone has to work in partnerships, donors, governments, private sector, and we need to do this together. Barbara. Tell me about the, what is your focus about the SDG 11? I will do so in a minute, but I would like to start um, with a big thank you to the organizers um, to participate in this event. Later today in Germany, in Bonn, we support the Global Festival of Action. It's a UN SDG campaign that aims to motivate individuals and organizations um, and creates visibility uh, for the SDGs. And there will be over three days, there will be thousand people, um, many of our leaders join. And I think this is the kind of ownership that we need for the SDGs. So thank you very much. We need these big festivals, but um, gatherings like here as well. Good. Dr. Manish, can you tell me the water? The main expectation from the civic societies and the government and the corporates, how they can align for effective and the quality implementation of the SDGs at the grassroots level. I think expectations are, are high, are huge, because uh, if you recall uh, the SDG uh, platform, how the targets were set, how the, the whole process uh, 2013, 14, 
it was a very uh, inclusive process. Civil society participated in setting those targets. Uh, uh, governments took part. So it's not a top-down uh, model uh, of, of indicators, targets that have to be achieved. That has come from global UN or something like that. These people who have participated, they were blogs, they were uh, online uh, discussions, and now they expect uh, achievement towards those targets. So clearly, expectations are high. Uh, but uh, also, um, uh, governments have a very critical role in this. And when I say government, I just don't mean the national governments, but uh, we're talking of local, uh, regional, especially local government. The governance, the systems uh, at country level are very critical, and the citizens are part of the system. So, uh, and in India, if I was to be more specific, when we had this, this focus, since we are talking of SDG 11 more specifically, these SDG targets and goals are mutually reinforcing and integrated. So it's not as if you have to achieve them piecemeal one by one. Achievements in one uh, area of the SDGs leads to the uh, benefits uh, in others, like health, for example. Is a it, 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 it contributes to development and is a beneficiary of development, both. So all improvements in the health sector will pass on to say uh, improvements in the city life, living, or environment. So uh, expectations are high, uh, accountability needs to be, uh, I think, there even more, and I, I think that's one of the areas where we're trying to work and get more accountability. Countries have signed up for uh, SDGs. So I think those processes are there, government's commitment is there, so I, I am very hopeful that we will manage to reach most of the targets. Good approach, but uh, Anand, tell me what are the main methodology for the implementation of the SDGs, for quality and better implementation. After failure of the MDG, how we can make a more effective mechanism for the implementation of the SDG? I mean, you know, I think what is important is that India and the UK are looking at the same set of targets. So we're all working on the same thing. So at the moment, uh, the UK is going through a voluntary national review um, of our contribution to the SDGs. So that's something that is, is critically important. It, we will bring that review to, to the uh, UN Secretary General's Summit later this year. And India is also taking a huge, making the SDGs a huge priority. You know, as we've heard earlier this morning, you know, all of those different programs that are contributing towards the SDGs. So it's really important that whatever we are both doing, we're working in partnership. And we do this in a very mutual way. Technical assistance comes from the UK into India, but equally we share what India is doing with the UK, but also with the countries that we're working in in Africa as well. So all of us are working in the same path, looking at the same things to achieve them, measuring the same things, that's really important. All of that collection of data, um, so that we can all be held accountable, as I said earlier, for the achievement of, of the SDGs. Really, really crucial for the SDGs, and that was also one of the reasons why we as BMW Foundation adopted the SDGs as our framework by recognizing that countries face similar challenges, um, let it be the global south or, or north, challenges like reducing inequality, promoting innovation, protecting the environment, improving or ensuring good health for everyone. The SDGs enable us as, as a funder, as a foundation, to really link our global activities or international activities to the local ones. So that was very important for us as well. Yes, this is very important. Without the participation of the citizens at the grassroots level, no mechanism is made for the effective implementation of the SDGs. Can you tell what kind of the route your foundation has adopted to go with the society to 
community leaders through through government or through civil societies or through citizens forum. So even long before the SDGs, the the idea of Foundation has started to promote responsible leadership and inspire leaders worldwide to work towards a peaceful, just and sustainable future. And we actually we work with leaders from all spheres of society. So it's politicians, um, people in administration, business, academia, media. So that was always um, very crucial for us. And through our activities, we aim to advance the SDGs. But implementation is much more through the responsible leaders, through the leaders in our network, than through the um, foundation itself. So we understand ourselves as a, we, we catalyze and facilitate the implementation by bringing leaders together and empowering them. Good. Anna, how you connect SDGs to the citizens, to the common people, to the deprived people. How do we connect them? Uh, in every which way we possibly can. Um, so, for example, if we take uh, some of the education uh, work that we do, uh, some of it is most important there, that right down at the school level, building school, uh, parent-teacher associations, building good governance bodies for those schools, is critically important. Then at each level, making sure that information is fed back to both the local policy makers, all the way through to state, and then up to the national policy makers. Each stage holding those to account to make sure that every single child, for example, goes to school. So those are some of the things that we do, is try and make sure those information is flowing. And that's where, again, some of this big data, artificial intelligence, all of those things, if we can galvanize some of that to really ensure that data is helping us hold everybody to account, right down to that school level, all the way up to that government level, that will really help, I think, ensuring that we've got every level being listened to, we can use that data to drive policy change, to drive policy making in the right direction. Great. No one leaving behind. This is the important thing. The important thing is after the failure of MDGs, our respectable and the godfather of SDGs, Mr. Ban Ki Moon, has taken a very inspiring initiative to launch SDGs for the global and sustainable development of the each and every, every citizen of the globe. Now, Dr. Manish, this is the very important thing. Something is lacking in, in this process. The most important factor is awareness among the citizens. So what is your opinion? How awareness is important before taking any concrete initiative? Uh, I would say awareness is completely lacking uh, and I'm talking about India. I think uh, if I look at the government machinery, the government structure, national state government, uh, there is a lot of awareness and commitment to SDGs. Even at uh, people level, uh, they may not know all the 17 SDGs at one go, but they will definitely be talking, even corporates or, 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 or academic, be talking of one or the other SDG in one way or the other. Now, uh, to give the example of UNDP, one of the work that we do is actually work with state governments. We have offices in six state governments, building the capacity of the government system on, on monitoring their achievement to SDGs, creating dashboards of how the state governments can see how their work is contributing to SDGs. You don't really need to create a new portfolio for SDGs because a lot of the work that the governments are doing, if you just package it properly and you measure it properly, uh, you will find a lot of SDG work is being done. It's how, how to contribute, how to measure that contribution to SDGs. So there's a lot of work happening on that front uh, and then we are supporting
taking some of that as well. So essentially it's about that. Uh, awareness is there, there is a lot of communication. UN system, I mean not only UN, all the other UN agencies, partner agencies, different, USA, so many, the BMW, the foundation, other foundations, whether they're working on health or otherwise environment, each one of us, through our own communication systems, talks about, underpins all our work to the SDG. So it's about how you do that. Now the private sector is starting to do that. And I think in the future, I do anticipate seeing, say, the corporates now talking about their work with an underpinning of SDG. Governments do that already. Uh, it's how the private sector now starts talking. And, and that will become, uh, that will even make it even bigger. The whole SDG platform will get even bigger uh, as, as we move on. Uh, what is your experience about what kind of the mechanism of for the implementation of SDGs we should adopt very cautiously and carefully to keep in mind about the MDGs issue? How we can make a more effective awareness agenda program can be delivered at the national level, sub national level, district level, and sub district level? I think it goes back to what I said before. Um, you know, what, what is so good about the SDGs is that we've got a shared set of targets within them. Um, and making sure that what we're doing we are taking account of those targets. So, you know, when we're working in cities, and we have a, a, a big program here uh, working, providing technical assistance within those cities, we need to ensure that we're not just thinking about SDG 11, we're thinking about how that work contributes across all of those SDGs and, and those targets. So a priority one for us uh, when we're working in cities is SDG 13, is looking at some of the um, climate and environment issues around uh, cities and building resilience. So it's, it's making sure that each of those SDGs are taken into account, looking at those targets, and ensuring that we start talking the same language. Because the, the language of the SDGs will really help us drive us in, in that direction. There are a lot, but it does mean to say that everything can now be covered. Yes, you are raising a very valid and very relevant issue, the literacy of the SDG. This is the most important. And Barbara, you can tell me how your foundation can influence the corporates for as a, to make a corporate as, as the catalyst for the implementation of this SDG. Uh, business leader in particular, but business leader among others. Um, but having said this, I I believe that um, corporates need to play a bigger role in implementation of SDGs and that the real change will, will come when we transform business. So we need less business as usual but more inclusive business, more impact business and these are the movements that we try to enforce. Thank you. 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 Thank you.